It's gonna be sour. Look at that. It's dripping. Soaked. Let's be nice. Mmm. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Kalikup Beach, Kerala, India. Today I'm going to take you on a street food tour of the beach. We're starting right here at the lighthouse and we're making our way south. As you can see it's a wide beach and over there, one, two, three, four, five, six, is like ten dozen vendors, lots of seafood, big mix. I'm super hungry, I can't wait for maybe some fish fry, maybe some mussels. I don't know what else. Maybe ice or tea, maybe we should try coil eggs, maybe we should try green peas, and many more. Let's go and see. Just jump right on the beach, huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's so cool right now. It was so hot earlier. Because of the breeze, you're feeling better. And people are coming out here like this on a Monday? Wow. It's like it's really crowded, huh? Almost every day. If you're coming in, uh, if you're coming on public holidays, like Saturday, Sundays, or any other public holidays, it will be too crowded. These first few stalls have lots of fruits. So what do they have? They just have juices? Pickled fruits, fresh fruits. We can buy fruits and you can apply some pickle on it or you can take as it is. These are pickled fruits. The vinaigri leather. David, if you want to try Aiswarati, you can also try Aiswarati here. Aiswarati is like they crush ice, the ice cubes and then uh, they add some flavors to it. You can try pure sweet, if you want to try sweet plus uh, spicy, or if you want to try pure spicy, whichever you need, we can. Pure spicy for me. So what you have to do is just mix a little bit, little bit. Spicy, by the beach. Can you get that sweet? I was expecting more sweet. Spicy, veggie, and sour. 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 sour, yeah. Sour because vinegar. They are using vinegar. If you like sugar, you can add sugar to that. No need sugar. Go brain freeze. <laughs> Too much ice. It's just really sour, mine. Extremely sour. Because you have taken only spicy. It's, it's sour because of the vinegar. Mm -hmm. That is nice. <laughs> The best part about this place is that you're right here next to the water. Everybody comes here, they get their stuff, they sit down right next to the beach, hear the beautiful waves. I mean, everybody's sitting there. That's the seating area, the beach, like right on the water. Total price for the ice torti was 20 rupees. Ice torti, <laughs> not ice torti. <laughs> uh, no problem, it was 20 rupees per, uh, per glass. So 60 total, total for 60, three. Total 60. David, what you're seeing that side? It's all isorati, otherwise pickled foods and vegetables. But if you want to have something like snacks, maybe mussels or something else, we can try here. There is coil eggs here. Let's try that. Also mussels, kalamaka. Hello. Hi. A plate on my look. So 10 coil eggs in masala, it costs 50 rupees. Just Ten, 50 rupees. 10 coil eggs. Yeah. So try it. Is this? Our boiled egg, hand boiled egg, with masala. Mm. Too spicy? Not so bad. Pretty good. Spicy, just outside. Just outside, yeah, yeah. yeah. Inside, yeah. just uh, 
It's egg. hard-boiled. Egg. Yeah, I feel like the difference for quail and chicken is that the, the quail egg, the yolk, is a lot bigger. But the egg altogether is smaller. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. It's a good snack. Mm? It's good. Mm. That's, a, that's all you. Yeah. I can't okay, either. Do you ever want to have a spicy hard boiled egg? Come here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So I got rice dough stuffed mussels. They cost 10 rupees each. You can go with one, you can go with a hundred, whatever you want. Here they are. I love it, they're little heart shapes. No better way to try than next to the fire. So how do you eat this? Well, move it a little bit. Oh, it's tough. Okay, that's not it. There it is. So it's the muscle right there. Then you have all the rice dough fried. It's like a, a thick muscle chip. Mm -hmm. Not bad. You, you don't taste the muscle. You taste pure rice fried rice dough. I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna have the other one. Nothing special. I think the only reason you have to try this here is because they're famous for mussels. The best is, they have mussels, masala mussels, that's it. It is okay. Thank you. Total price, 20 rupees. For, for two. Two. Yeah. Yeah. 10 per, no? Yeah, 10 per. David, this is green pea masala, green pea, whatever you call it. It's green pea thing. Okay, uh, it has egg plus green peas. Spices and if you need, you can squeeze some lemon. Mix it. All right, so green peas. Green peas. Mm. Nice green pea salad. Yeah. So it does have onions, onions, cabbage, um, egg, green peas. Lemon sprays and what I feel is cumin seeds. Yeah, taste of cumin seeds. Very good. I feel that too, and I feel like the eggs because it's it's like it binds it together. Yes. Mm. Delicious. I really wish I would have not eaten the mussels. I would have had more of this. Like need more. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Good. good. Not too spicy. Love the crunch. Both long. Both all day. I'm actually gonna have a little more. Yeah, it's there. I'm starving. Mm. Love the green peas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was the best thing we've tried so far. That was my favorite. Cool eggs were good. Okay. The muscles were awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they weren't so bad, they just were bland, you know? Yeah. They're bland and you don't taste the muscle, and that's what I really want, the muscle. So we have some more of this, right? Yeah. You, maybe you can try some fruits. Yeah, let's try fruit. Yeah. Give me that one. Then you try some pickled chilies. There, try this. Oh my god. It's not going to be very spicy. It will be sour. It's going to be sour? Look at that. It's dripping. Soaked. Let's be nice. Mmm. Oh wow. I was completely full with that. Sucked the hell out of it. I mean, it's basically like a jalapeno. It's not too spicy. Pretty good. I'm all about chilies. Mmm. Tasty. I got that vinegar. Mmm. Oh, it's a good chili. Mmm. Not too spicy. Love the punch it gives me. Just delicious watery vinegar. I can have another one. That's so good. Oh, now it's now it's spicy. Oh, it's like out here. <laughs> so if that's the case, you can take some fruits. I'm gonna have a watermelon. Actually. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Always use the tongs. Mm. 
That watermelon. Mm. Could eat a hole, my. Oh, it's still hot. Need a hole in myself. His purpose is water. Mmm. Look at this bargain. The chili cost five rupees. The watermelon piece cost five rupees. Ten rupees. Oh, okay, that's five. It's still hitting me. Ten rupees. Thank you. 10 rupees is the equivalent to 15 cents US. Amazing bargain. I really need something savory now. Let's look for another vendor. The only thing is that here, here, and here are all these stands, so we're gonna have to go that way. Let's go. We walked through a whole beach, and each and every vendor is almost exactly the same. You have the ones with the fruits, and you have the ones with the mussels, and the peas, and that's it. I mean, that's what you can find along this beach. So instead of finishing now, we're gonna go look for some more food. But we might be trying a cassava biryani. Cassava biryani and faluda is really famous here, so maybe we try faluda. I haven't tried it yet. Hey, how you doing? You good? Uh, yeah, guys, my last night in India. Last night, it's been an amazing trip. 12th day, tonight, in the middle of the night I have a flight home. But for now, I'm meeting my way across. Cut it cut, cut it cut. We drove for two minutes to the southest part of the beach and here we're gonna go and try cassava biryani. Now cassava biryani is not like your ordinary biryani. This is cassava and beef, no rice. No rice at all. And they also have faluda here. So we're getting a two for one here, can't wait. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this place. Yeah, lots of cars. This is the Shap family restaurant. We are in a restaurant called Shap. Shap means 30 shop. But this is a restaurant which has the name 30 shop, but you won't get 30. There's no 30 here. You'll get food. And what, what's everything on the wall? What, what are those movies? Uh, these are Malayalam movies. The posters, the old movies. Some of them are very old. Some of them are not very old, but still old. Once I had my lunch here, they gave me the same thing, but I forgot what it was. And this is a welcome drink. It has passion fruit, lime, and mint. You can try this. Thank you. Mm. Nice and minty. Oh. You can try those snacks. Not snacks. Snacks as well. Yeah. There's something like rice. I think that's cassava. Mm -hmm. Cassava, curly on top. A little chutney. A spicy chutney. Yeah. I'm gonna try it now. Huh? This, is some, this is something else. This is like a tiny hap up. Oh wow. <laughs> that one's amazing. In the middle, we have some sev. Kappa biryani. Kappa biryani. Oh. Kappa biryani means cassava biryani. Okay. Steamy cassava biryani. Let's see this. Basically serving me all of it. <laughs> beef, ribs, best beef ribs and cassava. Okay, so beef ribs and cassava. This is sixth biryani for you today. I think it's number six. It's six of the trip. Six of the trip for sure. These are sardines. Okay. We are about to dive into beef ribs cassava masala biryani and next to it we have sardine curry okay another new dish going in i'm gonna mix all of it well the beef ribs man super juicy not so spicy mm, a lot of cassava it's an amazing mash Oh my god. Let me get some more of the curry. If this was my first plate, I would eat the whole thing. But. Mm. Well, so you got the rib right there. Take off all the meat. Then we have the cassava. Get some of the fish curry. Oh, here we go. Mm. 
Oh, it's so good. It's almost like a, like a certain mashed potatoes. I mean, obviously cassava is a root vegetable, and here they gave me a big chunk of cassava. Just to get a little more. Super tender. You know, obviously it's been cooking in a big pot for a while. Mmm, the pot. Mm. Right there, bone. Oh wow. The rest part with any animal, with my flesh, it attached to a bone. Oh, it's so good. Oh man. I'm super happy we ended with this meal. Look at the beef right there. Like that. Wow. Mmm. It's like creamy and spicy. Mm. What an amazing dish. Every piece of beef is attached to some fat. Mm. So we do have a little piece of a sardine here. I'm just being very careful because there is bones with the sardine. I mean, it's sticking out right there, the entire ribs. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice salty fish. Oh wow. The beef right there. Oh, this is good. We got a little more of the curry. I love it. <laughs> Super light curry, not too spicy. This is one of the least spiciest dishes I've had in Kerala. Almost no like real heat, just lots of spices throughout. Really delicious. The cassava alone without the fish curry is good, but that just takes to another level. And I think I'm done. All we need now is a faluda. Faluda in Kerala. Is this faluda? I don't know. I never said faluda like this. Basically, they're saying there's ice cream, there's a cone, but inside you have the fruits, you have the nuts, you have semolina, which is like the noodles. Okay, only one way to find out. Let's dive in. Mmm. Wow. The nuts. Oh, semolina is the best. I think this is almond. Um, I think it's almond ice cream right here. I don't know what that was. Whoa, what a mix. So three different types of ice cream here, and there we have the semolina. Mm. So sweet. Wow. This might be like mint ice cream. I don't know. Over here we have strawberry. Oh wow, and this is a drink and to eat, right? Nah, it's not coming through. It's like ice cream, candy, nuts, fruit. What a wild ass creation. All the ice creams are mixing together. This is like a, a mixture of delicious sweetness. I'm gonna take some time to eat this, so I'm gonna let you guys go. It's been an incredible night. Went to the beach. We tried, I think, four different things out there. My favorite thing for sure was the green pea slash cabbage like salad. Really delicious. The mussels was like the worst for me. The pepper was great, really hot. I also didn't really love the, the drink, the sour drink. But it's all good, you know, you gotta try some stuff, see what you like. We came here and I gotta say the cassava beef was fantastic, really delicious, with some fish curry, sardine curry. Really different. Amazing, and then this faluda. This is like the ultimate faluda. I mean, I'm gonna definitely finish it, but I'm gonna take some time. <laughs> this is a lot. Wow, this restaurant is packed. Well, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And I hope you eat your way around the world like I do. I'll see you next time somewhere else.